Hi, it's JJ Cooper here at the BA Prospect Pad, and I'm here with Mariners outfielder Tyler O'Neill. Tyler, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Tyler, it, I want to start with, you're here, we're here in San Diego for the Futures game. What did it mean you get the call, you get the text, you get the email, however it happened? How did you find out, and what did it mean to say, hey, I'm coming, you know, you're going to the Futures yeah, game? Yeah, it, uh, it was unbelievable. Um, Coming into the season, I knew that I might have had a slim chance uh, to be invited to the Futures game. Um, you know, I wanted to come in, I wanted to um, do my job, you know, excel, excel at this level that, um, you know, I've really been underestimated at um, coming into the season. But, um, you know, I've been doing pretty well so far, and uh, once I got the calls, it was a pretty special feeling. I, and also, it's got to be, you're with the world team. But basically, you're also getting to represent, I mean, as you're very proud, as definitely, we can tell. Definitely, You're representing Canada, you're re representing Baseball Canada, really. Sure. I mean, what, what does that mean for you to be able to represent Canada here in the game? I mean, I always want to I always want to represent the Maple Leaf uh, to the best of my ability. I, um, you know, nice tap. I know, right? yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not necessarily going to go out of my way to say um, that I'm this or I'm that. But, um, you know, when it comes to events like this, when it comes to international tournaments, um, you know, I'm I'm a very proud Canadian, obviously, and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing that. So you, you talked about you came into the year. You know, this was a, a goal. You know, distant goal at the time, but a goal. What's gone What's gone well for you this year? You know, it's been a great year, obviously, for you. What's kind of is something clicked, or is it just doing the same things that you've been doing? I mean, um, we came into spring training, uh, obviously, new management, uh, new development uh, with the Seattle Mariners. Um, you know, I give big credit to Mike Bacucci and Andy McKay, um, just really stressing the fact of uh, controlling the zone, um, sticking to your, the small box in your plate, and you know, when you get a pitch in that box, you hammer the ball. Um, you're not trying to chase pitches. It's okay to strike out looking if it's a corner pitch, um, but you don't want to chase pitches out of the zone necessarily. Um, and I think that's really helped me thus far um, you know, I'm, I'm really just trying to keep doing that because so far it's been working for me and, um, you know, go from there. Hey, it's got to be fun when you get yourself into one of those counts where you know that you can do some damage. Definitely. And you've done some damage Definitely. this year. But, I mean, you get 2-0, 3-0, that, that's when the fun really begins, isn't it? For sure, yeah. I mean... Um, and you're getting there more often now than you course. were. Of right? course, yeah, of course. I mean, it's, it just really comes down to the, the center of the plate discipline. Um, you know, sticking to a plan, um, and when you do get in those good counts, it's uh, not deviating from that plan, not trying to, you know, pull a ball 500 feet, you know, driving a ball in the gaps, you know, and I think that's really helping me this year so far. With that, I mean, you've had several moments this year, but is there one in particular this year that really sticks out, like, hey, that was a game where I was really locked in, or that was an at-bat that was everything I want to do in that bat? I don't really think necessarily. Um, I just I just try to take it pitch by pitch. I don't, uh, I don't try to break it down too much. Um, if I do, I feel like I'm getting in my own head that way. So, What about looking back? You've been playing baseball a long time, but is there a memory that really sticks with you? A favorite memory when you were, you know, basically growing into the game? I, mean, I guess you could say the Pan Am gold medal. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's... Other than that, nothing else is going to reach but that's, that level. I mean, that... You know, what was it? I mean, that had to be like, that, I mean, that's really kind of what you play the game for in many ways, Of course, ways, isn't definitely. It? I mean, you grow up, uh, I mean, I grew up wanting to play hockey, wanting to represent Canada for the national hockey team. But, you know, um, last year especially, I, I was on two national teams, a senior national team finally. Um, and it, it, it really is a dream come true when you wear Canada across your heart, across your chest. Um, you know, like last year I was at I was at home in Toronto for the Pan Ams and I was away for the Premier Twelve in Taiwan and so I experienced both sides of the both sides of the equation and it's 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 really an unreal experience, you know. Um, I can't really exp explain what the atmosphere is like. It's um, it's almost too good to be true. I, I think I'm almost setting up as a natural segue here, but is there a coach? Is there someone, you know, as you were kind of developing in the game? that really made an impact on you? I mean, obviously my high school coaches, uh, Doug Matheson and uh, Jamie Bodley, you know, they, they really pushed me to be the player that I am today. Um, I don't know if I could be where I am right now without those guys. Um, they believed in me, um, I guess even when I didn't believe in myself uh, at an earlier age. So, um, you know, they pushed me to get to where I was. They, they helped me through the draft process and here I am. 
like you said, you growing up, there was a time where you thought, you know, you're Canadian. Definitely. If you're Canadian, you're going to play hockey. Of course. When did you realize that baseball was, you know, no, that's my future? Uh, <laughs> maybe like... Last year? <laughs> no, not last year. Uh, I think like 10th grade area. Um, to be, to, to like excel in hockey, you got to be good when you're like 13, 14. Yeah, you're already um, in juniors and all Yeah, that. like some kids haven't even hit puberty by then. Uh, it's tough. It's tough for me. Um, when I was in that stage. Uh, so I didn't really necessarily go anywhere when I was in hockey. Um, obviously being wanting to be drafted in the WHL, which is the Western Hockey League, yeah. uh, the Western Provinces of Canada. So, I mean, I made, a, I made a decision when I was 15, 16 years old. Like, you know, I could, be, I could be pretty good at baseball if I just put my mind to it. So that's what I did. Uh, I was talking to Mike Soroka, another Canadian this Definitely. spring. sure. And he was saying, like, it drives him crazy because he sees 15, 16, 17-year-old Canadian hockey players, and he's like, if you would just focus on baseball. Yeah, exactly. You know, you'd be really good. It's, a, it's but almost an easier path. Like, it depends, obviously, what you're good at, though. So. Right. But, uh, you know, kind of with that, you went through the Canadian program and all. I think a lot of people don't realize there's a lot of advantages to that. I mean, you were facing top talent. Definitely. Definitely. At an age where a lot of guys aren't. I mean, you were facing sure. professionals yeah. at an age where a lot of guys are, are facing basically high school, you know, sophomores and juniors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, um, obviously it's it's an unbelievable experience. Um, just like the Langley Blaze, uh, the junior national team, if you're selected, goes down to Florida, um, Dominican, um, wherever, to play professional guys, you know, to, to give you the experience that you need. Um, once you're beyond the high school stage, because that's what they're about. They're about development. They're about um, you know progressing guys. They wanna they wanna evolve ca Canadian baseball uh, for the younger guys. So I mean, it's it's very beneficial, and um, you know I'm just glad that I was a part of it at the time. We've been joined by Tyler O'Neill here at the BA Prospect Pad. Thanks for watching.